Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Carrie Kemp. I am a plus size model in the Toronto area. And today I want to discuss being unqualified. Because, quite frankly, I'm not qualified. I've never been qualified. Um, I don't necessarily believe in qualifications. When we talk about qualifications, uh, when you think of qualifications, you're thinking of being qualified for a job or a position. And quite frankly, as we go through life, it's all about being in positions, isn't it? Whether that position is a model or like everybody's got a job, whether that position is a mother, whether that position is a boss, a CEO, whether that position is an owner of a business, there's always a position. And we sit here and we look at the qualifications and we're like, I don't have experience. and. I don't definitely don't have any education but as I look through my life I'm like what is experience it's practice so if we just practice doing it eventually we'll gain the experience to do it and and be qualified for that position that you want so for for example I'm gonna use a, a volleyball uh, I know it's not a basketball but I am gonna reference basketball it's round like a basketball so, um, back in when I first started playing basketball, I loved basketball. Uh, I, I would learn to shoot like this because it's where a lot of the strength came from. So I would shoot like this and as long as my shoulders were square to the, the basket and I gave it enough air and oomph, it would go in. And, and you know how like you actually like practice throwing it into a hoop like underhanded just because we were also little and, and didn't have that strength? So then we, we upgraded to, to this. And it's like, oh yeah, I got so much more strength now. And, and it's coming from your biceps and your triceps and you're so excited. And so I was doing that and I was actually pretty good. And I loved basketball for that reason. I was good. And uh, somebody came along and they were like, hey Carrie, you know you're holding the ball wrong, right? And I'm like, it's going in the basket. You just stay in your lane, mister. And he was like, well, this is how you, you hold it. And you put one hand on the bottom and you stabilize with your other hand, whatever hands your, your strength, mine is my right. And you use your wrist and your forearm as strength. And so of course I, I would do that and I didn't know how. So, so I also didn't have the strength. I didn't have the experience, that muscle memory. So I would go and I'd shoot and either it wouldn't even get close because I didn't have the strength to get it to the basket or I didn't have the strength in this hand to stabilize it so the ball would go right and left and everywhere but that basket. And I would get so, so frustrated and I'd be like, you know what, to heck with it, I'm going back to this way. And so I would do that a bit and then I'm like, no, I want to do things right. And so I would practice, I would continue going back and practice. And this took so much time and so much practice, but I kept on doing it and doing it and doing it. And all of a sudden, the ball started going in the basket. I'd shoot, and I'd shoot, and I'd shoot, and I'd be like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna back up, I'm gonna do this from the free throw line. And I'd shoot, and I would go in, and I'd shoot, and it would go in. And I was up to like 80% accuracy, and I'm like, hey, let's, let's take this behind that three point line. And I would shoot, and I would shoot, and I would shoot, and I would get between 60 and 70% accuracy. And um, I would get so good. And I was like, how was I not doing this all along? Because I didn't have the strength. I didn't have the practice. I didn't have those qualifications. But now I'm qualified. I'm qualified. And I ended up getting MVP in high school playing basketball. I thought my high school was very big, but, um, but I was good. And I know that I was good. And I continuously wanted to get better even though I knew I was good. Because I believe that if you think that you are your best, your pride is too high or your vision's too small. That is what I believe. That is my mindset every day, is that I'm good, but I could be better. And so I always strive for that next level. And so I've actually used this in, in my life. And so um, I, my education is actually a legal admin assistant. But at one point in my career, I was 
um, managing the procurement area in an IT department, buying and selling. You know, I like to buy clothes now. I used to like to buy computer equipment then. I went through a whole RFP, didn't even know what that meant when I was going into it, but I learned and I practiced it all the time. I was not qualified, but I studied it and I practiced it and I did it and I was good at it. I, I made a department go from three workers to me, just one, just one. And people seen that I was good at it. And so I continuously got promoted to the next level. The next level I was working in events at a post-secondary institution when I left and I loved that job. If I could do that here, I would because it was fun. Um, but fashion caught my eye and modeling caught my eye and, and inspiring other people caught my eye. I love to help people. So that caught my eye and I'm like, you know what, I'm not qualified to be a model, but like if I could, if I could get really good at basketball when I, when I couldn't before, or, or I could manage a whole department when, and like revamp it when I wasn't qualified, like fake it till you make it. No, no, no. Practice makes permanent, not perfect, permanent, because there is no such thing as perfect. There is such thing as permanent. So if you practice, what you want to get good at, you're going to be good at it. And it's going to create a permanent mind. So even for example, let's use negative thinking. You're sitting there and you're practicing all this negative thinking and eventually it's going to be permanent. That's all you can think about is what's going on in other people's lives. Like, I wish I could be this person or that person or everything. Um, I wish I could have that job, but we're not practicing to get to that next level to gain that experience to be qualified for that position. Or maybe you're, you're practicing, but you're not practicing the right things. You're, you're doing what feels right, but maybe it isn't right. And you need to reevaluate the steps that you're taking to get, to get you to where you need to go. I don't know who needs to hear this today, and I just felt super inspired to sit down and just do a little video for you guys, letting you know that I'm not qualified. I never was qualified. I just, I, I see an opportunity and I go for it, whether I'm qualified or not, because I believe that in the valley, in the trenches where, where, I, where I feel I am a lot of the time, because I'm not qualified and I don't have the knowledge but I continuously pick up the fruit because the mountaintops isn't where fruit grows. And I've realized this from a young age, the mountaintop is not where fruit grows. You could be at the top of that mountain and you can be starving, but you're, you're in the valley and you're in the trenches and you see all this fruit coming, these apples, and the bananas, the oranges, the raspberries, the blueberries, and and you just keep on picking up this fruit and you see other people with you and so you're helping them, you're giving them some of your fruit too. Maybe you're giving them too much fruit. It depends on the person. Are, are, are they picking up fruit and giving you fruit and making sure that you're healthy and you're, you're eating? Or are they just keeping that fruit to themselves? We have to really distinguish who we keep on giving our fruit to and when we need to keep the fruit to ourselves. Because at the top of that mountain where there is no fruit, you're gonna need to eat off that fruit that you picked up along the way. And you're not gonna stay at the top of the mountain. There's gonna be trenches up there too and valleys so that you can continuously prosper and, and eat that fruit. Instead of wanting a piece of the pie, why don't you make your own pie? Instead of wanting a piece, P-I-E-C-E, -E, why don't you get peace? P-E-A-C-E. -E. It's a big difference. You've got what it takes. I love you.